Welcome back to Blockchain Peel. My name is Alex and today we'll see what happened in the ICP ecosystem in the previous week. And we should all be super excited because ICP has made a big step towards solidifying itself as the leading Bitcoin layer 2 with the completion of the Deuterium milestone earlier this week. And we'll get to what the Deuterium milestone is and everything else that happened inside the ICP ecosystem the previous week in a second. First, let's understand how ICP functions as a Bitcoin layer 2. By leveraging chain fusion technology, ICP canister smart contracts can hold a Bitcoin public key, sign transactions with it, and directly read and write to the Bitcoin network. With the Deuterium milestone now live, ICP smart contracts can generate Schnorr signatures in a distributed way. This allows one to sign taproot transactions or manage BRC20 tokens directly from an ICP smart contract. The milestone is expected to drive further development within the Bitcoin ecosystem, supporting emerging protocols like ordinal inscription and the BRC20 standard, which have significantly increased transaction activity on the network. Developers now have the tools to create more advanced and trustless applications on Bitcoin, leveraging ICP's capabilities. This is super cool. We saw how crazy runes and BRC20 tokens went. Now they can go even a step further by leveraging the ICP technology, they can really build whatever they have in mind. The milestone also expands ICP's Bitcoin integration by providing access to all block headers, which makes it possible to verify full Bitcoin blocks on chain in a secure manner. If you remember in a past episode, we mentioned that Definity was present at Ethereum Community Conference 2024. They hosted a chain fusion day and now all the keynotes have been uploaded to the Definity YouTube channel. So some of the topics here, the power of chain fusion, a presentation by Omniti, ICP and Liquidity V2, Autonomous Interest Rate Management. If you're interested, you can check those videos out on the Definity official YouTube channel. There has been a massive increase in CK tokens adoption according to this tweet by Definity. Chain Fusion Tech is growing in 2024. Query and update messages to the fiduciary subnet have skyrocketed, increasing over 11 times in the past 12 months. This surge highlights the rapidly growing adoption of CK tokens and with the addition of CKUSDT and CKUSDC stablecoins, as well as with liquid staking protocols and other DeFi projects that are building inside the ICP ecosystem, I think DeFi on ICP is ready to explode. And speaking of DeFi, last week I had a podcast with Bruno Calabretta and Aaron Bramser and we talked about an upcoming DeFi disruptor called DeFinance. It's a DeFi lending protocol built on the Internet Computer Protocol and it will allow people to get more out of their ICP. If you're interested in lending protocols or DeFi in general, I recommend you go and check out this podcast. It's not a very long one. It's a 40 minutes, but it's worth watching every second of it. DeFinance is going to launch by the end of 2024. And I think it's going to be just in time for the massive bull run of 2024 and 2025. Whenever this bull run decides to finally start, I think that DeFinance is going to play a key role in the DeFi ecosystem of ICP. Let's have a look at the ICP price and see how we're looking. It's been a pretty boring week for the ICP price with not much movement. We're still consolidating just above the local low here. The price is currently sitting just over $7.30. As long as we don't break under the local lows, I think we're looking pretty good. Right now it's a game of waiting for Bitcoin to break its all-time high and I think that's finally when the massive alt run that everybody's waiting for is going to happen and not before that, unfortunately. We need to break the old local high here at $20, $21. And after we break that, I think there is a lot of room to grow for the ICP price. Let's have a look at what another ICP community member has to say about the ICP price in his weekly series on the Binance Square, Ishak also covered the ICP price. In his opinion, this is a very healthy correction considering BTC's flash crashes that we've seen in the past. And obviously alts crash harder when BTC dumps. For now, we've reached this interesting point on the one day time frame, which Ishak expects to be a strong support zone. And this far, we can see this has been a, a massive uh, and a very powerful support here. We didn't break under six dollars which is a good sign for the time being we are consolidating and there is not much we can do besides holding strong and accumulating more at those prices now let's have a look at some sns projects we're going to start with dragons and they announced that they're planning to open source parts of their code making the technology that they have built to run dragons available to any project building on the ic and this is super good news because this will allow developers to make sure they're building the most fun games possible and worry less about how to get everything on chain because most of that work has been done by dragons who have now decided to share that work with everybody which i think is super cool 
they have another update dkp the dragon tokens is now listed on coin gecko dragons is currently sitting on a 23 million dollar market cap and the icp ecosystem is eagerly waiting for the Dragons game to finally be live. Elna, the world's first on-chain AI agent creation platform, made a very interesting tweet, and you can now create a decentralized AI agent in less than five minutes on their website. They made a video tutorial showing you step-by-step -step how to create an AI agent. OpenFPL, a decentralized fantasy football platform, announced that there are three more days to go until the Premier League season starts, and you can set up your team on the OpenFPL website this far there are 242 managers meaning 242 people have built their teams and the developer behind openfpl announced that a huge marketing campaign will start beginning next week to spread the word about openfpl and the internet computer protocol and finally icp swap which is the main decentralized exchange on the internet computer protocol addressed the sandwich attacks happening when users are trying to swap using their platform sandwich attacks are nothing new to crypto this type of attacks are happening on every major block blockchain like Ethereum, Solana, AVAX, when people are not careful whenever they want to make a trade on a decentralized exchange, they don't look at the slippage and the bigger the slippage, the bigger the amount of money that they lose. So keep in mind, whenever you're trying to swap tokens on ICP swap, make sure your slippage is set to zero or to 1%, 2% at the most so that you don't lose your funds to those bots. And with that, we're done for this week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.